there they are. I see them. coming. We're at the Savi Island Wildlife Area near Portland, Oregon, and this is one of the premier waterfowl hunting areas in the country. Every fall and winter, hundreds of thousands of migratory birds make their home on this island, which is located between the Columbia River and Multnomah Channel. For the purposes of hunting, Savi Island Wildlife Area is divided into three major hunting units. The east side units, the west side units, and the north side unit. Each of these areas has its own system for allocating hunting privileges. We're at the east side check station where hunters come early in the morning to obtain their permits for the units that are accessed from this point. Using our point of sale system, hunters have the opportunity to draw a reservation for any of the units that are available on the east side. Successful applicants come to the east side check station an hour and a half before shooting time where they're issued a permit and a tag for the units that they've drawn. The east side of the wildlife area is divided into 14 hunting units. Nine of the 14 units are roam units where hunters are free to walk around and look for waterfowl. The other five are blind units where hunters sit under camouflage and wait for waterfowl to fly over. There are also ADA approved blinds reserved for individuals with disabled hunter permits. This is a typical example of a, of a hunting blind that's on the east side, we're in an east side unit. The blind consists of a bench and is made up of uh, wire panels that we affix corn stalks to for camouflage. Hunters that draw a permit for hunting in a blind unit are required to hunt from an actual blind and not allowed to hunt outside of it at all. This allows um, for safety and provides space between hunters for a more enjoyable hunt. Let's go over to the west side of the island now where hunters are signing up at the west side check station for any one of 36 blinds or a couple of roam units. Access to the west side units is by luck of the draw at the beginning of each hunting day. Hunters who are in line on the road leading up to the check station no later than an hour and a half before shooting time are eligible to participate in a drawing that determines who gets to pick the available hunting units first. What's your load check? 32. Okay, I'll take the rest of them. And we just need initials. Hunters with the lowest numbers in the daily draw can then step okay, up to the check stand to make their choice. ODFW staff are available at the check stand and are always happy to answer questions. You're going to have to break ice probably any place you go. Right. Those haven't been hunted, so you're going to have some you know, ice. To, like I said, any place you're going to put decoys, you're going to have ice to break. Okay. Hunters who have not already picked up and studied a map can get one at the check station. So you're going to go past the boathouse here and it's probably 150 yards or so. There's a little culvert that comes in right here. For the most part, hunters seem to like this system because it's fair and it gives everybody access to the hunting area. The chip draw is a good system. It gives everybody an equal chance to get into a blind. And over time of hunting this several times, you'll know which blinds to take, which blinds not to take. Out in the field, there are some things that hunters can use to improve their chances of a successful hunt. Decoys placed in the water next to Savi Island Wildlife Area's many waterfowl blinds can certainly help. Make sure to bring your waders, though, because during the fall and winter, that water is cold. A duck call is another tool that can be used to bring waterfowl to within shooting range.
Greg Humman has been hunting ducks at Savi Island for more than 30 years and is an expert caller. This is his advice on using duck calls. It's pretty simple. There's basically, I use three calls. I use what is a, a call to bring the duck in, which is a long call, which is... 7 notes and you bring it down, now, that gets their attention and the duck will, will usually turn if they, if they like what you're saying to them and they'll turn and come towards you. As they're coming towards you, I'll give your basic little quack or a feeding call, which is the feeding call is this. I'll follow it by a couple quacks to get them interested. And if they're really interested in coming in, and they're coming in, I won't call at all once they start coming in because you don't need to call a whole bunch, but you can call a little bit. And then I'll go a little softer. <laughs> bring them on, try to bring them on into the decoys. It's pretty simple. It takes a while for you to learn it, but once you learn it, you've probably got it for the rest of your life. Don't underestimate the value of a good dog to help retrieve your birds. Remember, as a responsible hunter, you are legally obligated to bring back every bird you shoot. Of course, before you head out on any hunting trip, make sure to read up on the current hunting regulations. For example, the use of lead shot is prohibited on Oregon wildlife areas. The regulations also address shooting hours and the types of decoys that can be used. In the state of Oregon, we can only use uh, pull string decoys. We can't use uh, robotic decoys. So we have to pull the string ourselves, which gives us something to do when we're in a time when birds aren't coming. The main thing is, if you're at all interested in hunting on the Savi yes. Island wildlife area, is to get out there and give it a try. And the reason I like it so much is it is so much fun. The anticipation of the hunt, coming out, setting up a blind, calling in ducks. Thanks for joining us. We hope this video is helpful to you as you begin to explore the rich hunting opportunities that are available on Savi Island Wildlife Area. For more information, we've developed this brochure, A Beginner's Guide to Hunting Savi Island Wildlife Area, which is available at the main office and some of our field offices. It's also been posted on our website, which you can find at www.dfw.state.or.us. Happy hunting!